गुड मॉर्निंग स्टूडेंट टूडे आई एम गोइंग टू टीच क्लास फोर्थ साइंस लेसन वन फूड बी ई द नेम ऑफ द चैप्टर फूड बी ई एट एयर एंड वॉटर फूड इज ऑल्सो एन एसेंशियल थिंग फॉर आवर बॉडी वाई वी फील हंग्री आवर बॉडी मेक्स अस फील हंग्री टू टेल एस एट इट नीड फूड वाई डज इट नीड फूड our body works all the time it works when we play walk eat breathe or run where do we get this energy from we get the energy from the food we eat food is essential for our body to develop replace and repair itself food provides us energy to work and play it protects us from diseases and has to recover fast from illness we eat different food items and each food item contains different substances these substances that provide nourishment essential for the maintenance of life and for growth are called nutrients these nutrients are carbohydrates proteins vitamins fats minerals no single food contains all the nutrients in the desired quantity so you need to eat balanced diet for proper functioning of body so let us start to discuss each and every nutrient protein it is important for the maintenance and repair of the body children require more protein for their growth protein rich food includes meat fish cheese beans lentils yogurt nuts and seeds protein helps us to grow food rich in proteins are called the body building food so you have to remember proteins are called body building food we need proteins for building muscles and repair of body parts Growing children need more protein. Carbohydrates. Carbohydrates provide energy for the body. We need energy for all activities we do. Carbohydrates include sugars found naturally in food such as fruits, apples, banana and grapes, vegetables like potatoes and pumpkin, milk and milk products. whole grain wheat bread and cereals wheat maize and rice is starchy vegetables legumes and refined sugar it gives us energy food rich in carbohydrates are called energy giving food remember carbohydrates are called energy giving food people who do a lot of physical work like labor and laborers and sport persons need more carbohydrates fat fat also provide energy for the body they act as reserve of energy when carbohydrates are not available it has to keep body warm food rich in fat include oil butter nuts coconut ghee cheese cream etc fat also give us energy they give more energy than carbohydrates so food rich in fat are also called energy giving food remember fat are also called energy giving food vitamins vitamins help to form and maintain healthy teeth bones and skin it helps to fight against infections and diseases food rich in vitamins are broccoli papaya almond sunflower oil spinach carrot pumpkin orange beans etc all citrus fruits contain a lot of vitamin c that helps to fight against infection vitamins it keep us fit and help fight diseases food food rich in vitamins are called protective food remember food rich in vitamins are called protective food there are different types of vitamins 
which mean a b c d e and k which mean a the sources of which mean a are green leafy vegetables carrot etc and the function is improve eyesight and keep the skin healthy which mean b whole the sources are whole grains pulses green vegetables nuts etc and the function is maintaining working of digestive and nervous system properly which mean c amla maintaining working of digestive and nervous system properly which mean c the sources are amla lemon and orange and the function is keep the teeth and gums healthy which mean d the sources are milk and fish and the functions keep the bones and teeth healthy minerals the body needs many minerals such as calcium iron sodium potassium and many others we need all minerals in to stay healthy in desired quantity our body needs calcium to maintain healthy bones and teeth calcium we get from milk and milk products etc iron is also a mineral which has in the formation of blood iron rich food includes red meat dry food green leafy vegetables minerals also protect us from diseases and keep us fit and healthy iron the sources of iron are green leafy vegetables groundnut etc and the function is it is needed for the formation of blood calcium the sources of calcium are milk cheese curd and green vegetables and the function is it is needed for the development of teeth and bones water and roughage water has to regulate the body temperature it is an important constituent of blood skin digestive juices etc in our body almost two third of our body is made of water water is essential for all living things to stay alive water is essential for digesting food water helps in the removal of waste from the body water helps to maintain the body temperature rough taste rough is in the indigestible portion of food derived from plants it clears our stomach it is obtained from fruits vegetables and the outer covering of cereals and pulses thus a diet that has proper proportions of carbohydrate fat protein which means minerals and water necessary to keep good health is called the balanced diet so remember Roughies are the fibers present in our food. It has to remove undigested food from the body. It has no nutritive value. For example, cereal, fruit, salad, etc. Balanced diet. A healthy diet or balanced diet is a diet what you eat. That contains the right amount of all the food groups. It includes fruits, vegetables, greens, dairy products, and protein. It does not include too much or too little of any kind of food. So, what we said: balanced diet, a diet that contains the right amount of all the nutrients, along with adequate quantities of fruits. and water is called a balanced diet what is the importance of a balanced diet the following are the importance of a balanced diet balanced diet leads to a good physical and a good mental health it has in proper growth of the body also it increases the capacity to work balanced diet increases the ability to fight or resist diseases here is a diagram of food pyramid in which we can make different different columns where carbohydrate protein fat vitamins and minerals are given 
So you can find out from this picture. All human beings do not need the same amount of food. When you are young, you need more energy giving food and protein to grow well. A laborer who does physical work needs energy, needs carbohydrate rich food. Older people are not very active and need less energy. Ways to avoid wastes of food. Always plan the cooking. Take only the required amount of food in your plate. Leftover food can be transformed into noble dish for the next day. Don't cook food that you have never tried in large amounts. Now, let us start quick recall of this lesson. Food is essential for the body because it gives us energy, helps us to grow, protects our body from diseases and keeps us healthy. Nutrients, the food we eat contains useful substances called nutrients. Proteins, proteins are nutrients that have to build new cells in our body and repair the damaged cells of your body. They help us to grow. These, they are called body building nutrients. For example, milk, cheese, nuts, pulses and fishes etc. Carbohydrates, they provide us energy to work, play and study etc. A person who does a lot of physical work also needs more carbohydrates. For example, sugar, starchy, starches, rice, banana, bread and potato etc. If the color of the iodine changes to blue-black, the food contains carbohydrates. Fat. Fats are nutrients and also provide us energy. It also has to keep the body warm. For example, oil, butter, cheese and tea etc. Vitamins and minerals. Vitamins and minerals are essential as they help our body to work properly and fight diseases. For example, fresh fruits, vegetables, fish, eggs, milk, etc. Vitamin A is good for it keeps our eyes and skin healthy. Vitamin C keeps our gums healthy. Calcium to form healthy bones and teeth. Iron needed for making blood. Roughage. Roughage is a fiber present in the food that we eat but our body cannot digest it. It helps in the removal of these materials from our body. For example, fresh fruit, whole grains, vegetables and salads contain a lot of fiber. It has no nutritive value. Water. Almost two-thirds of our body is made of water. Water is essential for all living things to stay alive. Water is essential for digesting food. Water, ha water helps in the removal of waste from the body. Water helps to maintain the body temperature. Balanced diet. A diet that contains all the nutrients, water and roughage in the right amount is called a balanced diet. All human beings do not need the same amount of food. When you are young, you need more energy giving food and proteins to grow well. A laborer who does physical work needs more of energy giving food. Older people are not very active and need less energy. Remember, food is precious and should not be wasted. Serve your stress only with that much food that you can eat and your body needs. Never leave food uneaten on your plate. Now, the explanation of the chapter is over. So, let us do some exercises related or above. First, pick the correct answer. Sugars and starch are protein, carbohydrates, fats and minerals. Sugar and starch are carbohydrates. The answer is second. 
a nutrient that keeps us warm is fat, vitamins, protein, minerals. Answer is first, fat. A nutrient that is required in very small amount but is essential for the body is vitamins, carbohydrates, fat, protein. Answer is first, vitamins. Which of the following has no nutritive value? Roughage, fat, vitamin, mineral. The answer is first roughage. A laborer who does a lot of physical work requires a diet rich in protein, vitamin, roughage, carbohydrate. The answer is carbohydrate. Now the second question is filling the blank. A. Dash are nutrients that should be eaten in the least quantity. The answer is minerals. Minerals are nutrients that should be eaten in the least quantity. B. Dash solution is used to test the presence of the starch carbohydrate in food. The answer is iodine. Iodine solution is used to test the presence of the starch in food. C. Dash has no nutritive value. Roughage. Roughage has no nutritive value. D. Vitamin dash is good for the eyes and skin. Vitamin A is good for the eyes and skin. E. Dash is an essential mineral for healthy bones and teeth. Calcium. Calcium is an essential mineral for healthy bones and teeth. Question number third. Give two examples of food rich in carbohydrates. The answer is potatoes and banana. You can take other examples also. Proteins. Two examples of proteins are milk and egg. Fat. Two examples of fats are oil and butter. Iron. Two examples of iron, apple and carrot. Vitamin C. Two examples of vitamin C are orange and amla. Now we conclude the lesson and you have to do the work in your copy. For this, you have to make a separate notebook of science and complete the work given above. All the exercises, question number 1, 2, 3, we have done earlier. You have to do on the copy and learn all the exercises. The question answers which are last from this lesson, we will do in our next class. Thank you.